well being called a coattail rider for that. You guys really need to understand what commentary is. You guys really need to watch the Spurgies is what we're going to get into next here, guys. The Spurgies was last night. Yours truly was up for a Spurgalicious award. Uh, actually, two awards your your boy was up for. And uh, I was so happy. Uh, I did not get either award. But I was up for Spurgiest Newcomer and... Uh, I believe it was Spurgiest Podcast or Best Podcast. Both were awesome. Uh, I loved being nominated for both. The nominations, to me, felt almost like I won. So uh, let's go to the first nomination. I just got to play. This is from the Spurgy Awards 2023 from last night. Now recording does the Spurg Awards. Um, they're called the Spurgies. And uh, it's about the commentary community. And for those of you who don't know what the commentary community is, the commentary community is a group of content creators from all over the world who congregate and talk about other online creators, like Jeremy Hales, for example. Or, you know, a lot of people in the commentary community fixate on Ethan Klein. Uh, there's so many big creators online that the commentary community uh, fixates on. But that's the great thing about commentary commentary is common you can provide commentary on any kind of content if you're into billiards for example you could provide uh, commentary on your favorite billiard matches uh pro wrestling there's some serious pro wrestling commentators dead on dave does a great job providing commentary on that well we're a full-on community and we have an award show and the original the og award show is the Spurgies and that's what took place last night not to be overshadowed by yours truly uh, I have an award show and my award show is the commentary community awards and that's going to be on Saturday at 7 p.m. which we'll go over the winners of the polls briefly uh, shortly but let's look at my first nomination guys I did not win as I said but I was nominated and that felt amazing so let's check that out yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. I'm still, you know, I'm still at the after. Shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. Yeah, you had your time. Yeah, you're done. <laughs> All right. I'm drowning. Oh, I'm you're drowning in it. anxiety. Help it's me. It's fine. But, <laughs> you see, here in the micro commentary sphere, there's a lot of people who come and there's a lot of people who go. This year, we saw a lot of people be introduced to the community. And I would like to go over some of the nominations for the best Spurgiest newcomer, not best, just Spurgiest. I wish it was best, but Spurgiest newcomer. We have Why So Demented, Leah Something, Ember Lily, and Milltown's Best. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is an interesting and list. The here. poll is up, and I'm making it's a very interesting. <laughs> I'm putting the timer right now, and there we go. So yeah, uh, Milltown's Best came in last year. Um, had some Me. very Spurgy moments. I did. Uh, Why So Demented. We all know that lied about his kid dying and his girlfriend dying in prison and his and heroin he went, addiction. Right, exactly. He did. He lied about yeah. all that. Oh, uh, uh, Leia something. <laughs> Leia something. A complete spurg. Uh, <laughs> she's Ember, she's, you know, she's amazing. I love Leia. Being, like I don't like that you guys are saying this, and then everybody's like looking around like who's uh, nobody said that. <laughs> nobody even said Leia's that thing, though. All right. Yeah. Not that I'm biased or anything. And then we have Ember Lily, who just, you know, I mean, uh, Wall Smashers. You know what I mean? I mean, she's not in the podcast, Wall, Wall Smashers. Ember Lily got a lot of nominations as well. Yeah, she should be the mascot of Wall yeah. Smashers. Yeah. I wouldn't want a yeah. fighter, like, fight her, though, you know? I just, I, I feel like, like, the you know, I just, I don't want another hole in me, as it were. Yeah. <laughs> another yeah. one, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, think... who do you think wins this? Demented has to, right? Right? I think That's so, an insane yeah. story. That's an absolutely insane story. I don't it is know. pretty insane, but I, I wish I would have won. I, I kind of feel like it should be Milltown because it's just like he's been consistently around. I mean, he's come and gone a little bit, you know, taking breaks and whatever. Thank you, D Max. Like he's, uh, he's, he's, I feel like he's taken a licking or two and just his tenacity. Yeah, but... you know, I, I, something about that I appreciate. I'm still standing, but guys. Out of this list continuously inserts themselves into the Spurgy drama. Not me. Ember and Leia. Leia. Yeah. <laughs> Leia, Leia does do that. She does insert herself. <laughs> they, they, yeah. So I'm sorry. No, I, mean, I, I would think uh, <laughs> I think uh, I think Leia has like the uh, average, like she is on average the spurgiest of the spurg of the newcomers. But <laughs> She's has, proud like, of that. Bang, 
and then you had Milltown with his yeah. little bang, mm-hmm. and then you had Ember Lily that is just constant, like spurging. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Does it get your rocks? Five up, seconds, Matt? guys. Five seconds. Four. And three, then I like two, how they did their one. voting. Everybody, come. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> the now recording guys are the best. They really All are. Right. Toxic. <laughs> Toxic. You made me lose I, my erection with that. Sorry, my bad. Uh, I can't see who won. Oh, uh, uh, did, did, did Steve Harvey. Uh, uh, and representing Steve Harvey. the 2023 spurgiest newcomer is Leah something. Well, By the way, this poll was extremely close. Leah something, 34%. Milltown's best, 30%. Thirty percent. Twenty percent. Ember Lily. Thirteen percent. Damn. I'll take thirty percent of the vote. Don't get me wrong. And if I'm gonna lose to anybody, I'm glad it was to Leah. I mean, I hate to say it, guys, but have you seen that lady's jugs? Lady's got some big jugs. Um, <laughs> Ember said I could have hers. Ember, you seriously uh, were nominated a lot last night. I'd like to know how uh, <laughs> Paradox said <sent> you. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not a sexual being at all. I just thought it was funny. I thought I would put a zing in there. Um, you get the fuck out of here, paradox. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Ember was up for some serious awards last night. She was up for this one. Uh, she had the spurgiest moment uh, where she punched a hole in a wall or something. And then it was revealed on Turd Island, which was the after show, uh, which we'll play some clips from hopefully if we get there today or get there this morning. Um, she revealed that she, that was a fake. She photoshopped the picture that 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 was false. So Leah is uh, essentially uh, demanding that Ember be disqualified and that her ward uh, go to Jessica Pizzle. Uh, and I don't know how I feel about that. I, I, I feel that deception is an art form that should be best kept for professional wrestling. The art of the work is something that I have learned. You know, I came into this commentary community thinking that uh, I'm going to take the psychology of pro wrestling and I'm going to implement it in the commentary community. And every single experiment I tried did not work whatsoever it <laughs> fell flat on my it fell flat on its ass and that sucks you know um but then again i was up for a uh, best podcast so let's go to that uh as soon as i find out where it was. i had the timestamp in my brain but you all know what my brain looks like it's fried uh it was like one One second, guys. Give me a break here. Timestamp, Dave. I could have swore it was like 117. One second, guys. I will find it. I will find you. Guys, uh... This is what sucks about this. See, Peepaw. That's why Peepaw wins awards. That's why Peepaw gets a big time Dougie award, and I get stuck doing nothing. Yeah, Ember got nominated five times, and Leah got nominated like five times. It was a good night, wasn't it? I had a a blast last night with watching the pre-show. Like, I, it felt like our community was actually doing something big. Guys, I can't. I had the timestamp in my head, and I could have swore it was at one seventeen, but apparently I was wrong. And what sucks is the best podcasts award. I found it one forty eight. Okay, guys, found it. So let's go to it. The nominees already. What All right, and the nominees are. I can't until D Max puts them on the screen. Oh, sorry. Yeah, okay. put them on the screen. Well, you told me not to. <laughs> All right. The nominees the are Whammon Recording, Turd Island. I've never fucking heard of that before. Sinbin yes, and have. Valid Opinions by Mil- Milltown. Got on here. I did. Yeah. I did. 
<laughs> w for Milltown. W Milltown for Milltown. <laughs> hey, man, Valid Opinions was, at the you know, the middle of 2023 was our time. What's up? What's up? How come Mitch's streams can't be on here, but Turd Island, which isn't a podcast, it's a stream can be on here? Who cares? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, semantics. Mitch's streams and people watch Turd Island. And Turd Island's oh, way more spooky oh, than Mitch. Semantics. Oh, oh, oh. oh. oh Beavis. Oh, Beavis. I, I will say this, I though. hours at the end of the month. To... It did suck for guys like D Max and Mitch for them not to be even up for any awards when they did a lot this year. Especially Mitch. Mitch, you know, his solo streams and everything, they get a lot of viewers. So I think it's only right that on our award show on Saturday, we uh, do a special feature for Mitch. I'm not saying we give him an award or anything, but I think we got to do something special for Shockmouth. So uh, definitely we're going to do something for Mitch. He, he needs to be uh, showcased, you know, and it needs to, we need to make up for this injustice that he wasn't featured on the Spurgius podcast category. Uh, but what sucks here, you guys, look at how many votes I get. I don't get many votes in this category. But that's where I say the honor of the nomination is enough. That's what losers say, right? But that's what I'm sticking to it. Ten of them. <laughs> ten of them is going to be devoted to you. Bruh. <laughs> Okay. We got we got a close one here, guys. But uh, I'm kind of disappointed. Milktown's not winning. Doesn't matter. Thank you, thank you. I thought Milktown would have it. Honestly, I did. Yeah. Wow, I'm actually kind of surprised by this. Me too. I, it's I was bias. sad. Why, yeah. Sadness comes to mind because recent bias takes over. So mm -hmm. if there's like a drama that happens in like late November, early December, then oh. it's in their mind. Yep. Right. Thank True. Game in which. Game in which with a hundred. Oh, oh my, my god. god, thank you, Game Holy shit. Yeah, man, shut up with a hundred dollar dono. You need to shut up. Dude, now. these. Yeah, shut up, man. I gotta oh, pause man. this for a second. Ned, I think I'm Ned, my limit with donos. Thank you, Sickly Patrick. Can we just talk about briefly how these now recording guys cleaned up? These guys, seriously, I bet you they each made about a hundred bucks that night. Each one of them. And donos, the donos just kept coming in. And we're not talking little $2 donos. We're talking $100 donations. Multiples. I think K-Huck donated $200. I know Shadow Humor donated two $100. Um, and, and yeah, man, I'm jealous. I, fuck yes, I'm jealous. That makes me sad. It makes me sad. Um... But one day, if I keep working hard, now that's what losers tell themselves. Um, I these guys cleaned up. I, if if I could have an award show every every month, I would do it just to make the money. <laughs> Congratulations, guys! If anybody deserves it, the now recording team um, is kind of like the glue that keeps this community together. Let's finish out these votes, and you guys will see. I take like an ab abysmal thirteen percent of the votes. Um, Turd Island swept up, and Turd Island from Badwick is is an amazing show, and it it was the rightful winner. <laughs> Five dollars from um, Dallas is uh, winning because yeah, of uh, yeah, paradox. I I, I yes. I don't think they hate. Me. I don't think they hate me. I I I, I don't think the now recording guys hate. I've actually. I'm I'm cool with Beavers. I'm cool with Matt. Um, yeah, D Max. I'm actually I'm civil with D Max. Uh, yeah, I I I, I had a rough year last year, and um, I'm working to get better at that. I, you know, I'm not a perfect individual, and I think that's why I'm entertaining to so many people. Uh, whether it's a a fucking uh, a fiery mess, a fiery wreck of a human being, or not. Um, people are attracted to that, and uh, I'm trying to give you guys less of that and trying to give you more genuine me, and um, that's what I'm going for in 2024 is just to give you the real Dave. I'm not trying to do bits or shtick or uh, run angles. I I'm just trying to be Dave, and, and I think that's as long as I'm just Dave, I'll be fine, and it, it seems to be working. I've seen a lot of 
love in the now recording chat room yesterday um as the chat was as now recording put over my award show which is coming on this saturday at 7 p.m central time um a lot of people were saying that i made a big turnaround this year that i saw uh, muldoon even said that milltown and jalen are very have improved they've turned themselves around uh i've earned a couple people's respect this year uh, I'm trying to redeem myself. I, I don't want to be that lol cow, but I would like to be that person that people would say, you know, I wonder what Dave thinks about that. I wonder what Supa's take on that would be. Whether it's a bold or a dumb take, I'll, I'll give you my honest take on things from now on. Um, and that's where I, I'm okay with that. You know, and I'm, I'm okay with being called names in jest. Um, but when when people are are truly vicious behind it, that's when I'm kind of like, geez, bro, it's kind of parasocial. You don't know me like that. Um, that's when I get a little taken aback. Do you, there's there was a lot of I think I think how the now recording guys structured this award show is the Spurgies are like the main event. I think like. They, as opposed to my award show, which does, uh, it, my award show is fixated on a lot of the smaller guys, a lot more of the little guys. Um, and I think that, you know, how can I say it? Like, my award show is going to be like the minor leagues as compared to the big leagues with the, with the Spurgy Awards. So if you're a smaller creator, I think you will enjoy my award show more. I think you'll get more out of my award show uh, than you will out of the Spurgies. The Spurgies is uh, more on haha, -ha, and I'm trying to take my award show and focus on the hard work that these creators are putting into their craft because essentially that's what content creation is it's an art form and a craft and um whether it's a hobby or you're trying to do it for a profession we all like a little appreciation and that's all i want is one time a year to just say hey man we're watching you and we appreciate you now we are gonna have some fun like the biggest l and the worst take and you know hugin's gonna get his at least you tried award um but we're, we're going to have some fun with it, guys. So let me just finish out this vote process here. And I just lost my earpiece, which really sucks. Um, Hold on. <laughs> Where did it go? In my hood? Oh, well, I'll pop the other one. Just pop my other one and we'll be all right. Let's go to this. Sorry, guys. Football the show must go on. Cow, cowgirls. Go sports. Hey, how about <laughs> fuck the Cowboys and the Eagles? All right, let's go Packers. Let's go. Go Pack. Go. Uh, tomorrow. Just to read. Packers. <laughs> yes. How dare you? That is just hmm? mean. Just, just to read the gaming even. witches. Oh my god. Just to read the gaming witches. I think I'm at my limit with Donos, lol. Thank you very much, yeah. Gaming Witch. Everything is the amazing. Gaming Witch yeah. was going hard with Donos. My favorite part is when someone talks and everybody goes quiet. Oh, and man, no talk, talking and then that person doesn't talk and then everybody talks at the same fucking time. <laughs> the best. It's the best. It's right. like the cool. joys of having six people. Is ended. Wait, we didn't even talk about it. Sorry, guys. I'm looking no, for this earpiece. Oh, All sorry. right. And the winner is officially the official winner of but I will never ever recognize him as a winner is Ted Island. I've Let's never go. fucking heard of this show. Right, I'm back. back. Jesus, it's so and Ted Island won. Here, and rightfully so. Who died? Really you better get your ass in here. Where are you at? The evolution. Yep. So I lost. Like I said, if I'm going to lose to anybody, I'm glad it was to Badwick. Um, Badwick and Leah. Like, if you're going to lose to anybody in the community, those are the people you should lose to, right? Like, I'm okay with that. And then, you guys, the after show was so much fun. Um, Badwick hosted the after show. And, uh, good old, good old, uh, Turd Island. <laughs> Let's, uh, see if I can pull that up for you guys. So... 
So this is Turd Island, guys, and uh, we all know that Badwick loves his obscure platforms, and uh, he always does, like, you know, he's ne he can never just do a good old YouTube stream, you know? It's got to be Twitch, Kick, uh, Chatterbait, or whatever weird sites he's on. Um, and, you know, Turd Island is hosted on Kick because nobody uh, can keep their mouth... Um, in line everybody's got to have the the pottiest of potty mouths and say the most vile disgusting things but uh i'm gonna skip through a little bit of this just so you guys can see what turd island's about and all of its glory uh yes, look at how many people are on this panel guys <laughs> all right everybody shut up shut up shut up that's turd island for you yes ma'am all of you. So can I ask oh. a question? Can I ask uh -huh. a question? All right, I have Slug asking to come into the yeah. call because he wants to no, fight. No. No. That, that's I've never seen somebody so hey. universally hey. disliked. He, he, wa he wants to specifically in. fight with Rev about this or no, some no, bullshit. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Rev's running. Hold on. That is Turd Island, guys, and you get that for over two hours. <laughs> two and a half hours of a panel. <laughs> it's insane paradox, seriously. Like, it's everybody fighting to get a sentence in, and then we get side art. It's like a being at, like, a... A kegger, but virtually, if you get what I'm saying. And, and everybody, <laughs> like, it's just it's trying to keep this many people on task. It's it's a shit show. And that's all I can say, but it's the best shit show on kick. <laughs> the commentary community is insane. And this is the time of year we're all coming together. Guys, I made peace with K-Huck yesterday. That's right. I will no longer be calling her K-Chunk. Because actually, I saw her on cam yesterday. The woman's beautiful. She is. So uh, I was under the assumption that um, she was like this wildebeest. She's not. She's not. And uh, we made peace. She even said she'll send in a video for uh, the good old commentary awards. So, like, kudos to her, right? Like, that is like, yesterday was like, I saw what this community could be, guys. It could be it could be fun. It could be I had a blast just enjoying content. And it, it made me think about, like, how many people from all... Like, we had people in this community from all over the world thinking about, you know, the UK. And then we got Carla over in Brazil. You got Beavers in, what is he, South Africa or, or somewhere around there. I mean, we got people from all over the world. Seth, I believe, is Swedish, I think. She's from Sweden. Um, yeah, a lot of people like... I, I think she was even okay with me calling her K-Chunk. Um, and it, it had a, it had a ring, but she's not big. So it's like, does it fit? You know, maybe if I could say she had puffy cheeks, we could still call her K chunk. Um, but you know, we need to come up with a good nickname for her. Cause, uh, I like nicknames. You, you know, you guys have no problem calling me meth town. I mean, it's been a while since I've heard that. We should probably bring that back. Right. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie I love when people actually call me by my real name it, it makes me feel like a human being and not a piece of shit so I'm all for you guys calling me Dave or Milton and hey Seth Seth you are my favorite I love Seth I do Seth was caught on Turd Island saying she's sad that I did not win any of the awards I was nominated for. And that made me feel oh so good. Knowing that the Seth, the Goblin, is on my side. Makes me feel like I would fight for her honor. I will throw the gauntlet down in, Seth is on in Seth's honor. I will defend her uh, no matter what bad thing she does. Seth can do no wrong in my eyes. Um... <laughs> I, I mean, seriously, we got the best women in this community. And, uh, yeah, I know I'm kissing ass, but, like, it's the holiday season, guys. Give me a break. I, I'm, I'm, 
I'm happy to be a part of this community. And, you know, I was thinking about something the other day, guys, is, you know, I broke into this community just over a year ago now, and uh, I've seen a lot of people come and go. And, like, everybody I featured on Valid Opinions Live and, and you know, with with Hugin and and all these other people, like, I'm the only one that's still standing making content. Um, Eli hasn't made any content since she did her live stream asking me to stop uh, picking on her, essentially. Um, and I did, because I'm not a bad guy. Uh, morning, Courtney. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I think like, hey man, that's persistence. If, if I was still the old me, that breakup with Eli and, and the end of Valid Opinions Live, that would have destroyed me if, if I wasn't a stronger person. Um, so I gotta be thankful for all I have, and I gotta be thankful for the supporters I have in this community, and you all mean the world to me seriously Courtney who's who's watching right now she can attest to how much my viewers and how much my content means to me as a human being um yeah valid she she played a lot of games behind the scenes and it didn't really come out until after she left the community how many games she was really playing with people um, she was playing a lot of he said, she said, and she was playing a lot of people against one another in attempt to gain favor and clout from those people. And I'm not trying to bad wealth, bad mouth the lady or the girl or them. Um, it, it's water under the bridge at this point. Um, I hope at some point we can do a comeback and and do valid opinions again and and do it from a different perspective. Um but uh, I will, you guys will, <laughs> you guys will be meeting Moppy Creations on Saturday. A little teaser of uh, what's going to be coming on the award show. Uh, you might, you might meet Moppy Creations, and Moppy Creations uh, might be my co-host for a segment. Um, you guys don't know how hard it is dying a mop head blue. <laughs> Never. I'm not even gonna try to spoil anything, um, but we're having fun. We're we're good. Saturday is is where it's at. Which reminds me, before I get out of here, uh, we need to go. <laughs> See, I I I don't want to oversell the puppets paradox. Um, there will be plural puppets, but we're not talking a puppet show here. We're we're talking cameos, um, because let's just keep it real. My puppetry isn't where it needs to be yet. Um, so it will make sense when the puppets are used and it, hopefully it'll make you smile. Ideally, it'll make you giggle and laugh a little bit. Um, and, and, and hopefully you'll want more when it's all said and done. But with that being said, guys, let's go into these results. Okay, we, we're going to do this together. And we're just, I'm going to try to pull this up here, so be patient with me for one second, guys. Um, how do I do this? Hmm. I don't know if I can... This is going to be a problem, isn't it? Okay, nope, no issues. All right, guys, so we're going to go over the winners of each poll. And uh, I'm also going to send these winners a message. So if you won uh, in one of these categories, please make an unlisted video and send me the link of your acceptance speech. So I can pull it and add it to the show. And again, it can be silly. It can be funny. Uh, if you want to do more than just an acceptance speech, if you want to do a little uh, routine or something, have fun, guys. This is the end of the year. We're, we're going balls to the wall with this, guys. I want this to be fun. So if you're a content... <laughs> Thank you for that, Courtney. Uh, I want this to be a blast. This is fun, guys. So if you won 
uh, one of these categories, please send me an unlisted video so I can add it to the timeline um, for the show. So let's let's dive in here. You tried your best award, we did, and we already know the winner. The name on the award will be. 56% Hugin will be getting that. Not Twitter Geek, guys. The name on the award will be Hugin. He gets the You Tried Your Best Award. Good going, Hugin. Female Creator of the Year. And look, at we had a lot of women up for that award, guys. And the winner, I'm pretty sure, was a write-in. Leah Something swept it. Leah Something is your female creator of the year, taking 35.94% of the votes. And she was a write-in. Leah was, in fact, the first write-in winner we have ever had. Talk about us missing the mark on that one. Leah, I'm very proud of you. Congratulations, female creator of the year. I expect you to send in an awesome acceptance speech. And we're going to go to male creator of the year, guys. Lots of people were up for that. And Badwick's taking that, guys. Badwick is your male creator of the year. Badwick, please send in a unlisted video. Acceptance speech. He got 27.78% of the votes. Right there with the clout route, getting 22.22% of the votes. That was a close one. Male creator of the year, Badwick. Very impressive stuff. Um, then we're going into the worst take of the year. Um, worst take of the year going to <laughs> Why So Demented for swearing he has a dead baby and a dead baby mama took 45.45% of the vote. And of course, you're truly coming in second place with my attempt to defend a doxer so sad wish i could erase history then we got biggest flop of the year and the biggest flop of the year is going to edwin's comeback video and he got 35.85 percent of the votes uh, the question is, do we think Edwin is going to send in a uh, acceptance speech for his biggest flop of the year? And that is Edwin's comeback video. We're going to talk a little bit about that. I actually am making, I'm almost done with it right now, uh, a funny little video about how bad this video really did um, analytics-wise compared to some of Edwin's other content. Really didn't do very well for him. Uh, which sucks. Uh, best commentary video of the year. And the best commentary video of the year is going to Speaking Out on a Pathological Liar, endorsed by Keemstar. So not only did he get the biggest flop, he also got the best commentary video, which will tell you the state of our community right now. With a 16.33, actually that's tied. He's tied with with Sailor on that one. So uh, uh, we're going to have to do something about that. I don't know. I guess I guess I guess it's a, we can't have a tie. Um we'll figure figure out what we're going to do about this. Uh Sailor, your video with Keemstar and Chris the Narc and you when you confront Salvo Pancakes, uh best commentary video of the year. Uh please send in your video, Sailor, if you could. It would be greatly appreciated. I, I would hope if Edwin writes an acceptance speech, that would be a way to score some points with the community, in my opinion. That would be the smart thing to do. I hope he does. Uh, but and again here, best commentary of the video right now, it's tied between Edwin and Sailor, Assistant Sailor. Congratulations, Sailor. Best commentary video of the year. Best new creator. And the best new creator is... Me. Best new creator going to Milltown's best. 34.43% of the votes. Right behind Hollywood Huggy. Getting 29.51% of the votes. K-Huck right there in third place. Abby Blackbird got 11.48% of the votes. And coming in last place is DJ Screwdriver. 
What was the three-way tie, Paradox? What did I miss? Hold on. Best commentary video of the year. Is that what you're talking about? That was a... Th Holy shit! Holy shit! Paradox... Paradox, you corrected me. We have a three-way tie for best commentary video of the year. This will not stand, I assure you. Uh... I've never even seen the Tico video. So, wow. Um, we're going to have to do something about that, guys. That, I got to star that. Because that's, we got to do something about the best commentary category. That's going to be a headache. Uh, I I won best new creator. That That feels good, guys. That makes me feel really good. Best commentary stream of the year. We're going to dive right into that. Going to we <laughs> parking tigers is a liar McLierson by Leah something twenty seven point six six percent of the votes parking and Leah you guys are both welcome to send acceptance speeches for that award because parking had a lot to do with that video and I'm sure parking had a lot to do with the votes on that video as well. Um, congratulations for best commentary stream of the year. Coming in second place, though, is Peepaw Riveter with When Doves Cry. And for those of you guys who don't know, When Doves Cry was the stream that ruined my life. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm joking, guys. Uh, but When Doves Cry was an amazing stream. Salvo Pancakes right there in third place, though, with the Buffalo Files. That is the stream that got Salvo Pancakes kicked off of YouTube. Um, still, guys, I got a hidden link to that uh, on the doc. If you if you click the links on the Milltown Live website or Milltown Live X account, you can still find the link to the Buffalo Files. Uh, it is on Google. Uh, there is a Google link for it. So uh, those are your, your tops for that. But Parking Tigers is a liar McLierson taking the win on best commentary stream of the year. As we move down here, commentary comeback of the year, guys. As the results go on that, Def Noodles is taking the win for the commentary comeback of the year. Uh, second place was Doc on the radio. Third place, Salvo Pancakes. Salvo keeps coming in third place. I thought Salvo, you know, everybody likes to equate me with Salvo Pancakes. I thought Salvo would have uh, took, a, took a higher lead in some of these categories. But no, he sure didn't. Making Def Noodles the commentary comeback of the year. Which is rightfully so, in my opinion. That would mean the world to me if I could get Def Noodles to send in an acceptance speech, y'all. That would be that would be epic. That would make my year. And we have Orbiter of the Year. This is the one of the most voted categories we had, y'all. And I am very eager to see the results of this. And we have it, you all. The Orbiter of the Year is a tie. Oh my goodness. I don't know if we can handle this. The Orbiter of the Year is a tie between Shadow Humor and Mama Creepy. Wow. Shadow Humor and Mama Creepy tied. Not to be uh, outdone by Carla coming in third place and Purple Paw Prints leading right behind. Wow. Mama Creepy, a new Orbiter in the community, squeaking a tie with shadow humor i don't know how this is gonna is uh, this is not gonna sit well with shadow humor believe you me um both of you guys you can send in an acceptance speech but we might have to do some tiebreakers coming up here i am going to star that one as well because that is whoo paradox that was that's close that's close running man i that's i yikes Okay, so Orbiter of the Year, another tie going to our second page. We have four more categories. The most influential creator in the commentary community. The results, uh, the Clout Route, 35.19% of the votes. Right behind the Clout Route is Salvo Pancakes and Leah something. But our most creator, our most influential creator of 2023 is the Clout Route. 
very well deserved very well deserved i am very proud of the clout route boys uh doing big things the clout route they've really got a lot of steam this past year and that feels right clout route the most influential creators in the cc uh guys if you could send me your unlisted video link uh to for an acceptance speech it'd be greatly greatly appreciated um now we're moving on to the best commentary streaming team duo of the year and this was voted by a lot of people as well and we know it to be true that the now recording boys taking that one they are the best commentary streaming team 32 percent of the votes right behind it though guys yours truly me and eli with valid opinions live and lastly we got k hook and maggot edits with cuck cast uh a newer show kind of took the place of valid opinions uh they're finding their groove and uh two lady led show very interesting interesting dynamic kind of got the good cop bad cop vibe uh but now recording you know they're a staple in this community and they're a stable of individuals uh we got, you know, people from all over the world in the now recording team. You know, they are a, a very diverse, well-rounded group of guys. And uh, if I were to say they needed anything, I would say they need at least one female voice in their team. Even if it's just like a, a newswoman, kind of like Robin Quivers on Howard Stern. I think they need a female voice in their uh, arsenal. But the now recording guys are your best commentary streaming team of the year. And I... I I feel that that is absolutely right and it, it's good it's good i'm proud of that that is to be expected moving on to uh this is the big one guys the biggest community villain now there's been much discourse about this and there has been threats made that if a certain individual does not win this uh there will be um fires lit and uh riots to be had which we do definitely do not want in the commentary community and again guys the the nominees for the biggest villain were hashish salvo pancakes edwin keemstar babs niece lone wolf and slug and uh the winner of that one is a tie another tie we can't we can't have these ties, guys. We're going to have to do some tie breakers, I assure you, because um, this will create a war. This is worse than uh, Israel-Palestine. Uh, Hashish and Salvo Pancakes will not share an award. They will not do that. It is not possible for those two to share an award, I assure you. So Hashish and Salvo Pancakes, we're going to have to have some tiebreaker uh, polls, and those will be released soon. But in the meantime, Hashish, Salvo Pancakes, uh, please send um, your interim acceptance speech links to me um, until we, we get this sorted. Because, yeah, I, I oof, Hashish and Salvo Pancakes sharing an award. I, I don't know. Yeah, that re something's got to be done there because I, I don't feel like being murdered. So that's not going to stand. Um, and we move on to our last award which was the most improved commentary creator of 2023 and this is a big time award guys this is the award that you know most people would really want because it shows that you're working on your craft and you really want to improve that's what we all want we want to uh, improve in this whole thing and that's going to parking tigers 41 point nine eight percent of the votes right behind him is badwick productions with 27.16 uh percent of the votes and lastly a third place slug with 17.28 percent of the votes so guys we have our winners uh we have some ties and and that that's Oof. we cannot have these ties i'm gonna have to do some tie breakers but in the meantime um those are your winners uh the show again is gonna be saturday the 16th 7 p.m hopefully we're gonna have this uh musical performance by noddle he said he was writing a folk tune to recap the year's events in the commentary community 
should be a lot of fun. We're going to have little shtick, you know, we're going to have little uh, gimmick. How come I going to say? We're going to have little bits, you know, we're going to have uh, little routines. Um, should be a lot of fun. I'm aiming to make it about an hour, hour and a half, depending on how many acceptance speeches and little fun videos I get. If you guys, please uh, send me a DM on Twitter. If you want to be featured in this year's Commentary Community Awards, make a video for me. Send me an unlisted YouTube link. DM it to me on X. Send it to me on uh Facebook, send me any, you guys can get a hold of me if you need to get a hold of me. Send me your videos and be featured in this Saturday's Commentary Community Awards. I'm putting a lot of work into it. Um, you guys know where are the winners. You know, please pass the word on to those who won and uh, tell them I need their acceptance videos. Send me an unlisted. I can't stress that enough, guys. Let's not spoil it for the viewers. Uh, unlisted links, guys, so I can pull the video and add it to the full timeline. I'm so excited, guys. Saturday, it's going down. This has been a fun little Monday, hasn't it, guys? Um, for those of you guys who are just joining me, we had a lot of fun today. We, we talked about the whole Jeremy Hill saga. We talked about my drama on this uh, Otter Creek message board for simply wanting to interview some Jeremy Hales fans. We spoke on the nominations for the Spurgies that I did not get. We spoke on Turd Island. We spoke on how fun the Spurgies were. And then we went over our winners. Uh, it's been a very, very eventful morning. And, um... Yeah, he's saying... <laughs> Does he really? He supports father abuse. I did not know that paradox. Um, it should be a lot of fun though. I'm I'm aiming for a good time to be had on Saturday. Let's let's show the world what the comments carry community can do, guys. I'm Super Dave, and I love you. And uh, there's nothing new there, guys. I will see you guys all on Saturday. Don't do nothing I wouldn't do, eh, guys? <laughs> all right, guys. I will see you later. Peace.